Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a quick little video, sort of. <laughs> um, this is my completed pictures for the last three months. And I kind of noticed the stack got a little bit bigger than normally, so I may be doing these monthly instead of every three months. But I'm going to go ahead and do May, June, and July. So I'm going to start with the... Um, since I have it all in a pile, just the top of the pile, and then we'll go down from there. There are a few uh, pictures that are not going to be uh, in this stack because they uh, were either gifted to other people or um, sent off in a package or something. So I will put a, um, pictures at the end of the video of those. I don't have them with me, so... I will have to try to do it that way. So we're going to start off with this one and kind of try to move these over a little bit so you don't get distracted. Okay, this was just a Arteza um, coloring that I did. It was a tree. These are the colors. I have a video on this. It's just to show you how the um, colored pencils work. It's a nice little tree and it's from the Creative Companion from Ruby Charm Colors. It's a cool book. So that's the first page. I do have a couple of single pages that I did. This is a Hannah Carlson. I just did a video on this. It's a postcard and I would have to check the video to tell you which book it came out of. I think it was Daydreams, but not positive. This one is a Ruby Charms uh, printable, uh, printable uh, PDF file that I got off of her shop. This is the first um, page I got. And now I have all her books, which is really cool. So I did this one in, I believe, Castle Art Pencils. I have to double check on that. I'm pretty sure it was though, because it was, yeah, Castle Art Distress Ink and um, just glitter pens. So if you can see the, I don't know if you can, the glitter on that. But that was really fun. Those are the two that I have that are not in a book. <laughs> okay, we're going to try to get into the books now. I think I have to try to get those moved out of the way because I have to open a book. Okay, um, Mermaids in Paradise. Uh, Denise Kettle. Kettle. Okay, anyway, I did this one. This one was for... Um, a color along that I did for pickle with all the glitter. I, I love doing this one. It was a lot of fun. So we have glitter all over these uh, mermaid tails and the fishies and the bubbles and <laughs> everything. I had a lot of fun doing this page. <laughs> I have one other in here. Yeah, this was the first one I did with the little birds. I believe this one was done in the ink tints. And this one was also done with ink tints on the um, tails. And then the background is done in Distress Ink with water on it. And then stickles like crazy. And then we have one in the Mermaid book. And I did this one here. Again with all the stickles on here for the bubbles the paper in here because the uh, glitter comes off a little bit on this page. She's done with a, let's see, I have to look them up, it's been a while. I have them all on my Instagram page, so I will look it up and find out how I colored them. These are polychromos with Distress Oxide on the background here, and of course the stickles. So I had fun with her, too. I haven't done very many pages in this book, but I think she turned out really adorable. Am I going to put the page back in there? And then we got into doing the um, Hannah Carlson, all five of her books for Becky. And I picked out this page here. So we have the little frog. And this one is done in Prismacolors. 
and a stickles that's a stickles i don't think there's any distress ink on this page i'm pretty sure oh the other pages were easier to find but i know it's all done in um prismacolors so you can see the glitter on this one also hopefully he was fun to do <laughs> Okay, then we have Nightfall by Maria Troll. Trolley. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. And I just finished one in here. And this one is using the, I don't think it was intense, I think it's the Arteza watercolors. But I will double check. Oh, okay, it's both the intense and the um, Arteza watercolor pencils. So the ink tents that were used for this are the um, watercolor Derwent ink tents in the pans and the um, Arteza watercolor pencils on this page. The little guy down here is so cute. <laughs> I wanted to test out how much water I could use in this book. The page didn't warp out too bad and sticking it underneath a, another book and weighed it down, that a little turned out really nice. So that was fun. We have uh, one page in the World of Flowers that I did, and that was the nameplate page. And I only did this in the two colors, the green and the, um, I'm trying to remember the name of that. I think it's Garnet. I like that pencil. So it's got a little bit of the um, Twee markers in it along with the Castle Art pencils for the um, coloring and then a tiny bit of the Twee markers just to darken everything up along with the little pink splatters that you see in the background that I just put on a plastic sheet, the Twee marker and added water to it, picked it up with a paintbrush and flicked it around so we have little pink dots instead of white. I like that a lot. Okay, and then we have the Tom, uh, Colin Thompson's coloring book, and I've done a couple pages in here. So this one here, this is all done in ink tents, watercolor, and then I did one back here. This is done in distress inks and the ink tents. This is a fun book. Started another page in here. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I love just doodling in that one. Okay, then we did one in Sagnor Ox Sagner. I don't know how to pronounce this title or her name. So here you go. <laughs> Sorry, and the picture I did. I did this one for Katrina, for her um, tag along for remembering her. So I followed actually her tutorial for the most part. Um, changed up a few things, but that one was done for her in her memory. And yeah, I think that's it in this one. Oh, okay. There is a picture that I did in here that was a gift, so I'll have to put a picture at the end of the video. It's the uh, teacup with the birds on it, so that I will show you at the end of the video. <clears throat> Magical Dawn by Anna Carlson, one of my favorite books. This book is being colored in the same um, colors, the blue, pink, purple, greens, and then an added color in each page. This one also was for the 5K project. Cute little froggy. <laughs> and then I did the swan. These are all done in Prismacolors with uh, stickles and distress inks in the background. And I did 
this little bird on this side. And of course they all have stickles on them. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. But each page has... Where did this one go? Well, I'll show you the froggy. This is my only opportunity for you guys to see the sparkles that I put on the pages. I don't know where this one is. There it is. Okay, so the sparkle is all the way around the circle and on her wings and her crown. Okay. Now we have the Mar Mouse Guard book by David Peterson, and I've done quite a few pages in here this last three months. Cute little guys. I don't know their names, so I can only show you their pictures. <laughs> These are all done with ink tents and possibly a little pencil to um, darken some areas, but mostly ink tents. There might be some distress ink on there also. And there are two more. I have a lot of fun in this book. <laughs> and then the last one is this page. They are so cute. I love this book along with the <laughs> last book I'll be showing you. I'll be sad when they're filled up. Okay, and then we have this book, and I have two in here. First one I did. Um, I believe these are done with watercolors, ink tents, and distress ink. I'm trying to figure out what kind of mediums I can use in this book also, so kind of playing around with them. So this one here is done with watercolors. And then the, um, this page here was done in, I'm clicking, sorry. Okay, watercolors, polychromos, and white acrylic. And uh, some watercolors here in the gold for her jewelry. The um, dots here are raised up. I don't know if you can tell that. I did that with um, one of these tools, a little ballpoint, dipped it in some white acrylic paint and just dotted it on, and it gives it this kind of pearl look, which is really pretty. I like this page. Oh, that's Find and Color by Bugelli. Okay, my favorite book, <laughs> The Ink House. <laughs> there are a lot of pages in here. So we started off with this. These are all done with um, Distress Inks, Ink Tents, and probably a little bit of pencil, either Prisma or Polychromos. This one has some stamping in the background also. And the next page. Is our little guys in the bathtub. <laughs> this book is just fun. Along with, I love coloring in it. All done in um, distress inks. And we have more uh, intense here on the, the floor and stuff. There are videos for most of these. I have them on my channel in um, a playlist. So if you go into my channel and just look for the ink house, they'll all be put in that list. You cute little chick. <laughs> then we've done Charlie and Huxley. Background again done in the Distress ink and the coloring ink tents and the Prismacolors in the sky. I am almost done with this book. 
So I did Geraldine and Herman. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> I have to do Mary here pretty soon. Okay, we've done Reggie and Sid. Sid is the parrot. And I did this one. This is just the little fox and bunny sleeping. This is all done in um, distressings and ink. And they're all done in ink. Here we have the twins. <laughs> Mary, come on, this book is so fun. <laughs> we have the letters. Uh, Rory Dobner does um, tiles with the letters on them that he sells in his shop. They have... Uh, different little critters on them than this, but it stands for Ink House. We have the, the little guy that goes around pruning, Prutella, Pruntella, and Louie over here. We have the house with the balloon, the owner's coming back, so all the little guys inside the house must leave. Here's Nigel and Bill. Then, like I said, I don't have very many pages left in this book. Well, that'll be a sad day. So that is it for the colorings for May, June, and July. And like I said, I will leave the um, photos of the pages that I don't have with me at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.